In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Align Objects tool. So we've got two rectangles here. I'm just going to use the Transform tool to drag this over to the right here and show you an example of how to align it. So if we go to the Align tools here, so Align Selected Objects, click into that, and you can see we've got various options here. So we can align to Material. So in this way, for example, if I move this larger rectangle, I can align it to be the center if I click this option here. If I move it to the left, I can align to be in, in the center between the left and right areas of the worksheet. And similarly, if I move it down, I can align it to be between the top and the bottom of the worksheet, or our material in this case. Again, you can also align objects to a selection. So in this case, if I click this uh, vector first and hold shift on my mouse and left click this vector, I can now align it to the center from left to right. If I move that back with Control Z, I can align to the center of this vector with this option here. And then if I move this down just a little bit, you can see I can align this by holding Shift again, clicking on this vector between the top and the bottom of that vector. I can also select this vector, select this one and align this to the inside edge. So with this top option here, it will align it to the top of the inside edge, with the bottom, left and right. I can also have the vector aligned to the outside edge. So in this case, if I choose the top option here, you will notice the smaller vector will align to the top of the outside edge of the larger vector, to the right, to the left, and finally to the bottom. And this is relative as well. So from this position, if I click now right, it will now align it to from where it was to the right. So there's many ways in which you can use this tool. And then finally, we have the space selection option. And this is where we will change to our layers tab and we'll change to our shapes example. And currently, we haven't got the inside last vector checked. So we'll look at just what space selection does first. So at the moment, you can see we've got three vectors here, a circle, a triangle, and a star. Now, currently, they're not evenly spaced vertically. But if I select all of these by dragging my left mouse click over these vectors, and I click this option here to vertically uh, space them, it now evenly spaces these out. You'll notice the triangle moved down a little bit because it's evenly spaced them out uh, or created even space between these vectors. Similarly, if I move this one over to the left using the transform tools and I move the star over to the right, I can do this horizontally as well. So if I select all these again by clicking my left mouse click and dragging, I can choose this option here to horizontally space these and they'll be evenly spaced. And you can see the triangle is moved again to have even space between these vectors. Now what you can also do is something like this. So if you click the inside last vector option, you can now select all of these and then select another vector. So hold shift with your mouse and click. And if you click the horizontal option, it will space these evenly between the last vector selected, which was the rectangle in our case. And the same goes for the vertical options. So if I move these around a little bit, and let's put this one on top of that one to show you how powerful the tool is. If I highlight these, hold shift, left mouse click again on this one. And if I click the vertical option, it aligns them vertically. And then finally, we have the option to show the common tools on the drawing tab. So if I check this option, I close out now, you will now see the align options have now appeared here under the edit objects option of the drawing tab. And that concludes our video on the Align Selected Objects.